I hacked the new Heartbreaker gear set into a 6 skill tier build with 1.2 million armor. This gear set works as a hybrid better than you might think. It's strong enough to solo legendary and I'm going to show you how to make it. Hey banditos, I am also providing a full step-by-step -step guide to solo legendary in one hour using this build. Watch this unedited solo legendary gameplay guide next. And be sure to follow me on Twitch for bonus Division 2 content as well. This is the new Heartbreaker gear set. It normally comes with all blue armor cores. I hacked it into six skill tiers. To my surprise, this set is perfect for a hybrid skill build more than most gear sets are. The devs intended this gear set to be a tank DPS hybrid. And so they integrated a significant amount of damage into the set. And that damage isn't related or tied to armor or bonus armor. If you have tried running an all blue Heartbreaker build like most of us have, then you already know how amazingly powerful you feel without any red cores. That's because this set is giving us at least 65% weapon damage. The chest piece adds another 50%. That means we can turn all those blue cores into skill tiers without losing any damage. Making a strong skill build is really easy in the Division 2. Making the perfect hybrid is not. The quest is to bring skill damage and weapon damage in balance and great hybrids have an element of survivability as well, such as regen, armor on kill, and bonus armor. And a great hybrid is what I bring to you today. The mask is our first piece of heartbreaker for 15% weapon damage, handling, and the heartstopper talent. This stacks 1% weapon damage and 1% bonus armor on hits to pulse to targets. Stack it up to 50. Two stacks are lost each second. I have a skill tier, skill damage, and a protection from elites mod. Protection from elites is primarily to help us against legendary Chunga stingers and for the end boss. It also helps with those elite explosives and protects our bonus armor when it's up. The gloves have a skill tier and skill damage. The knees are the same and so is the holster. The chest is a really nice addition. I ran this setup many ways and this chest piece brings things in balance nicely. Uzina Getica gives us 5% more armor, which will help power up the bonus armor and the regen we have on this build. I have armor, armor regen, skill damage, and more protection from elites. The talent is perfect spotter, which adds a ton more weapon and skill damage to pulse targets. We get pulses from headshots, but we also have the laser pointer that pulses too. I'll show that in a moment. The Memento Backpack is awesome for solo legendary hybrid skill builds because those trophies give us 30% skill efficiency when we're fully stacked. That's all the skill haste, power, and duration we need. And picking up a trophy is going to give us another 30% skill efficiency for 10 seconds on top of that. Also, it's sort of like putting the skill on a short overcharge. The red core is more weapon damage and we will have 30% more of that on full stacks. The blue core brings us above 1.2 million in armor. And when we pick up a trophy, we will get 20% bonus armor. The Heartbreaker gear set gives us 50% bonus armor. That's 70% if we only pick up one trophy. And we're grabbing tons of those and stacking them all 
all the time. When we have full stacks on our backpack, we're also getting 3% armor regen. I have a protection from Elite Spot on the backpack. The weapons are a big deal. This is the new TKB408. I have mine with InSync. I chose this over Flatline because Flatline only buffs your weapon damage. InSync gives 30% to your weapon and skills. We have no crits on this build, so I chose Handling Mods and the Laser Pointer. This is a very strong weapon, and I recommend it for the non-elites, tanks, warhounds, and the chungas. Shout out to all the Banditos and Texas Players Club for supporting the channel and the Division 2 community in all the ways that you do. As a thank you, I create extra builds for Texas Players Club as member perks. And this week, I will be delivering the new Season 9 Slaughter build. Slaughter has been used by tens of thousands in the Division 2 and is highly celebrated for its ability to spend an amazing amount of time out of cover to solo legendary. And it just got better. I can't wait to share it with you. Make sure your notifications are turned on. If you're not part of Texas Players Club, come join this strong, positive community. Link here in the corner and in the description area below. The biggest surprise was the RPK. Since the gear set also powers LMGs, I equipped this and immediately got attached. All the mods are handling and it has the laser pointer. It also has in sync for the talent. This LMG has the third highest base weapon damage in the game for LMGs. And it handles like an AR, but it has a 65 round mag. Best off, it has both damage to targets out of cover and damage to armor. Assault rifles offer damage to health, so use this on elites and veterans. The handling on it is extremely nice and optimal range is ideal for legendary. I recommend focusing on the head with this one, it's steady. Here are the skills. The numbers on paper are way less than actual. This is before the talent buffs and the memento stacks. I went with technician for the skill tier. You can also fit in gunner for armor on kill but for legendary having the extra damage to robotics is really handy no crits you have in sync spotter and heartbreaker remember that armor regen from the memento doesn't show up on the build stats and we have three protection from elite mods here i recommend farming countdown for your heartbreaker pieces if you need to i bet you will get all of these in one day banditos if you want to learn how to solo legendary in one hour using this build watch this video next